Congratulations. A big surprise for Brittany Stevenson. Her classroom packed with people ready to celebrate her Excel Award. Miss Stevenson teaches Spanish, and her curriculum focuses on high-level thinking, beginning to end. But more important than classroom lessons, she's helping her students with life lessons and relationship building. The assistant super for student learning said he did his research before nominating her. I heard from multiple kids, she is by far my favorite teacher. And so I thought that, you know, they don't always get to say that to you, but I thought you should know that that's what your students are thinking and feeling when they're in class with you. You did a really great job on the day. Congratulations. Thank you so much. As for her plans with the $1,000 check from LG and KU, Ms. Stevenson's consulted her students and is making a plan for more learning opportunities. For either virtual or in-person field trips for some cultural experiences, especially with um, the arts community that we have close to us in Louisville um, and all kinds of like flamenco dance presentations that happen throughout the year, other cultural events. Um, whether we can attend virtually or in person, I would love to seek out those opportunities. On behalf of WHAS 11 and lg and &E and KU, congratulations to Miss Brittany Stevenson of South Oldham High School, this week's Excel Award winner. You know what, we just love celebrating all the teachers in southern Indiana, all across Kentucky. Uh, I have Kendra Adams here with me now. She's with Elm Helmwood Heights Elementary in E-Town. We love celebrating what you're doing in E-Town, and congratulations. Thank you so much. I'm honored. You know, you teach fourth grade math, mm -hmm. right? I feel like you're going to teach me to like math, and that's your whole goal is to help kids, you know, get past that roadblock of, oh, this is going to be so hard, and how, how do I? You make it fun. I hope I do. <laughs> I hope I make it fun. It's a foundation that um, everyone needs is math in their lives, so hopefully, I don't know, we'll see if I make it fun for them, and, and they come out um, having a better attitude about math. Right. I feel like that's half the battle is the attitude, right? Getting past, I can't do this, or if I can't figure out this problem, you're always thinking of creative ways to get around the problem and look forward. Outside the box thinking. The box. Yes, yes, always. So you're, you're upbringing was kind of outside the box, right? You weren't going to go into teaching. Your oh, path yeah. to this is a little bit different. It was. Uh, my goal, I always wanted to be a farmer. That's all I wanted to be because that's what our family did. So I thought, well, that's that's a pretty honorable, right. um, you know, profession. So um, it wasn't until much later in life that I decided I wanted to become a teacher. And why did you zero in on, sorry for the zero in. No. You see what I did there? Okay, I got excited about that. Why did you kind of focus in on, on math is, is what you were going to teach? Uh, because my son and my daughter were always so good at math, and it was something that um, we, I grew up, my family owning businesses, and it was something that was instrumental that we needed to um, do profit margins, and uh, we owned a restaurant, so it was tips, it was percentages, um, you know, how much is your yield, so everything was related to math growing up, and so it just made, it just made sense to me, it's just a foundation that everyone needs. Right, it's the practical side of it, that it whatever is. we want to do, we need to know. Yes, it is, you know, your paycheck, your, um, just everything, even your grades, you know, what are your percentages on your grades, and how can you figure those up, and sometimes, I remember my daughter would say well what do I need to make on this test or what you know how high is my average so it's just it's something that we all need yeah and so when you were um, when you got word that you were an award winner mm -hmm. uh, what did you think did, did you see that coming or just totally blown away by that totally blown away absolutely blown away I just like <gasps> you know I saw they came in the room and I thought well what are they doing because it had been such a long process that you know you work so hard and then all of a sudden that sigh of relief just Oh, well, I did win, yeah. you know. Yeah, this is real now. This is real. And now without I've got to work on the speech, so. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what advice would you give maybe to other teachers that are thinking about uh, getting into this profession? I mean, it's, it's, I feel like it's tough these days, right? People are really considering long and hard. What do I love? What do I want to do? Well, I think that one of the things that I read the other day is it's okay to uh, be frustrated, but it's also okay to still love what you do. Mm -hmm. And I still love what I do, and um, I didn't get into it for some of the other reasons that other people did, but I get, got into it for the students. Yeah. For the love of it and uh, if, if it's something you're passionate about then go for it. Right. And so what do you plan to do with the money? You know yet? <laughs> I do not know yet. Um, I don't know. Uh, probably something in the math area, some ways to implement and to keep math fun 
and to keep the students engaged. And then also I'll speak with some of the other teachers of the school and see if I can help them out some way. Well, so congratulations, okay. Kendra. Well, thank you so much. All right, so we are honoring uh, not only the teachers that are here today like Kendra, but many of them that could not be with us. And we want to introduce you to each and every one of them. Uh, we are pleased to introduce you to Kathleen Mattingly. She's with the J. Graham Brown School. Take a look. For the past 12 years, Dr. Kathleen Mattingly, or Dr. Cat to her students, has taught biology at the J. Graham Brown School. She's aided in building up the school science department, energizing colleagues in both the middle and high school levels. The big reason why she's winning this award today while we're honoring her is because she is an engaging and an inspirational educator. Over and over, students share that she is one of their best teachers. Dr. Cat is a dynamic teacher who engages students. One of her students joined the presentation of her Excel Award to share his favorite parts about learning from Dr. Cat. I understand the hype. She is, without a doubt, a Brown School legend. She knows the ways to her students' hearts, saying she'll be using her $1,000 check to purchase some classroom supplies, mostly including snacks for her hungry students. All the hungry students kind of filter through my room during class changes and grab granola bars and grab popcorn. And I think I'm going through a case of each a week at this point, which I probably need to like wean some people off of so much popcorn and granola bars. And of course, Dr. Cat had to flex what she's known for among her students. What's an Excel award without a quick pun? And you know, it was so hard not to make a pun about how appealing this was, but I, I wasn't sure if that would be as amusing as I thought it was, but uh, yeah, yeah. Again, on behalf of WHS 11 and lg &E and KU, congratulations to Dr. Kathleen Mattingly of Brown on your Excel Award.